Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. Sanditon ITVS Review This charming Regency romance is no Bridgerton. Andrew Davies' extrapolation of Jane Austen's final, unfinished novel Sanditon is Austen light, with dialogue that underlines plot points with all the subtlety of an in car satnav. And yet, for all that, the returning Regency romance is surprisingly engaging. If Davies' 1995 version of Pride and Prejudice, you know, the one with a wet shirt at Colin Firth, is the gold standard for Austen adaptations, his less sophisticated script for Sanditon still has its own clumsy charm. And it is loved more in the U.S. than in Britain. PVS in America and BritBox resuscitated the drama after ITV cancelled it after the first underwhelming series. Season 2 was first screened in the U.K. on BritBox, and now the third and final season arrives on ITVX. If any viewers have managed to stay this somewhat bumpy course, their dedication will have been rewarded. It may not be Pride and Prejudice, or Davies' 2008 adaptation of Sense and Sensibility for that matter. But Sanditon has found its mojo since that clunky and rather too self-consciously sexed-up opening series. To recap, the eponymous setting is an early 1800s fishing village being transformed into a Brighton-style seaside resort by entrepreneur Tom Parker, Chris Marshall. Soon attracting fashionable aristocrats, the fast-growing town is also a magnet for gold diggers. In Sanditon, it is a truth universally acknowledged that a cad in need of a good fortune must be in want of an Harris. And chief among those Harrises is Georgiana Lamb, Crystal Clark, the daughter of a former slave and a West Indian sugar plantation owner. Having seen through one plausible but conniving suitor, the raffish artist Charles Lockhart, Georgiana now finds herself targeted by a new family of impecunious aristocrats. Lord Harry Montrose, Edward Davis, has his mission spelt out by his mother, Emma Fielding. Your only purpose here is to restore our wealth by finding a wife of means and producing a son and heir. The latter ambition may be beyond Harry, who prefers dallying with other men in the beach changing huts. Georgiana is a more appealing character than our nominal heroine, the insipid Charlotte Haywood, Rose Williams, the wide-eyed country girl virtually adopted by the Parker family after rescuing them from an upturned carriage in the very start of season one. With her one true love, Alexander Colborne, Bent Lloyd Hughes, having got cold feet for complicated personal reasons, Charla is now engaged to constrictingly dull farmer Ralph Starling, Kai Brigden. Of course, Colborne secretly still loves her. Elsewhere there are some amusing subplots. Chief among these is caddish Sir Edward Denham, Jack Fox, and his attempts to keep in Lady Denham's financial good books by becoming a reformed character. So Lady Denham, the splendid Anne Reed, the series linchpin, has her nephew taking religious instruction from Kevin Eldon's vicar, Mr. Hankins, and being hosed down by the gardener. Character forming apparently, but can a leapard change his spots? One hopes not. James Bola meanwhile joins the cast as a cantankerous potential investor in Sanditon's first hotel, while bad penny artist Charles Lockhart, Alexander Vlahos returns to put a damper on Georgiana's 21st birthday ball, no self-respecting Regency romance being complete without these dance floor set pieces and attendant glowering glances. And so, the final season plates are spinning. It's by no means the subtlest screen adaptation of Austen, and remember this is nine parts Davies to one part Austen, but it's fully grown into its own thing. The title might be easy to confuse with Bridgerton, but Sanditon is old-school costume drama with an informed sense of the period, as opposed to Bridgerton's freewheeling anachronisms and postmodern shakeup of the genre. Better budgeted now, even Sanditon's formerly ropey CGI background scenery seems to have improved. The Americans were right to save it. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.